The play is、um, an adaptation of Romance of the Three Kingdoms. That, if people don't know, is one of the most famous, most popular Chinese classics of all time. But I also wanted to infuse it with some other classics that I know, including Pride and Prejudice. I would say it is a romantic comedy with swords. There is、uh, going to be a lot of sword play in it. It's going to be quite interesting and challenging, perhaps for the actors. But I can't wait to see them perform. Not just someone, your cousin. Distantly <laughs> related. You, an only child, and I, your paternal grandfather's first wife's grand nephew. It is something that I wanted to explore for the longest time, and it will be an interesting mesh between the action and the comedy. So that's what I'm looking forward to as well. And finally, I think this is an opportunity for me to tell a story that is within the canon of, you know, a very famous classic. Even though this is a play. That is set 2,000 years ago.、Uh, I think there are a lot of、um, interesting modern references. This is a female-forward piece. It's about two women warriors who are battling the patriarchy that was present during the end of Han Dynasty.、Uh, I want to create strong female characters to show what was in fact happening at the end of that period. Good thinking. But I've come with a purpose. Only a man of supreme generosity. I propose to marry one of your daughters. One of my daughters? Even though Confucianism was the prevailing ideology, which is very patriarchal, there was the rise of Taoism, which is about equality, which is about balance. Uh, that was giving hope to the disenfranchised, and I hope that that message can come across through my play.